viewers this is galaxy s21 this has 5000 milliampere battery we'd be looking into how we can increase the battery standby time for galaxy s21 so for this we'll go through each and every uh, section in the settings so first we'll go to settings we'll start with connections we'll see how the connection looks looks like so here nothing we need to do so then we will go to sound and vibration so the best thing is to keep all the vibration off because this vibration is definitely going to take a lot of battery so we'll keep it in the sound mode and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, deselect this vibrate while ringing option let you can keep everything as it is now we'll be going to display now the display is light mode and dark mode. So uh, light mode is definitely go going to take a lot of battery because it is the uh, different color, white color that takes up a lot of battery. So we'd be switching back to uh, dark mode. This dark mode takes really uh, minimum battery while the screen is on. And we will uh, keep this adaptive brightness on. So this will definitely help some uh, restore some battery here. This mo motion smoothness, the adaptive one, this is the 120 hertz refresh rate. So if we keep this on, this is definitely going to take a lot of battery. So I prefer to keep it in standard mode. So this will save some battery for us. Uh, this uh, screen mode, eye comfort seal, these are all okay. So screen resolution. So we can switch to WQHD+. Plus. Uh, in my opinion, for day-to-day -day use, there is not much difference between FHD+, plus and WQHD+. Plus. So if you are really like to keep this WQHD+, plus, that is okay. But this is going to take 5 to 10% of battery for a single charge. So I would prefer to keep it in FHD+. Plus. Uh, one more thing is the screen timeout here the screen timeout is one minute so you can put it even smaller than that 30 seconds or 15 seconds but one minute is a standard time uh, for the screen timeout so you can keep this like this nothing else needed here uh, then is the wallpaper and style nothing we have here We'll go to themes again themes nothing we can have uh, by the way we can download some icon pack from here there are a lot of icon packs provided by galaxy you can even switch to few of the free icons and you can change as you want uh, even the home screen yep uh, let it be lock screen lock screen nothing much to do here now biometric and security nothing we can do here go to privacy yeah in the privacy you can uh, check all the permission that it has like uh, the galaxy s21 provide a single point of camera access and microphone access so you can toggle this off to turn off the camera access for all of the apps same for microphone access so keep it open go to all permission and check for the permission that each and every uh, feature has like camera so in my case the camera is being used by whatsapp expert raw and the camera app that's it so you can toggle it off from here like if i want to uh, cut off uh, whatsapp from the camera permission i can just click on don't allow that's it so keep an eye on all the permissions here this will uh, give you some privacy uh, option okay. uh, the location the location request so uh, here you can check the permission so for me the location permission has been given to camera maps samsung pay uber and uber it's and it is not allowed for all other applications so uh, check your permission well for the location because every time uh, an app is using the location that means your battery is uh, being used then safety and emergency nothing much here accounts and backup nothing much here in terms of battery uh, android features nothing much from the battery 
digital well-being nothing much battery and device care so here we can do something so if we go to battery if we go to battery it will say uh, how much time you are using this battery like for me it is showing seven hours i uh, my phone was charged seven hours ago and you can click on this graph to see what else is taking my battery uh, so it is showing this many apps have taken my have used my battery so you can uh, um, click on any of the app and you can just click on this limit usage you can put to sleep put in deep sleep so my whatsapp should be always running in the background because uh, whatsapp uh, definitely it has to be there in the background when someone is calling me uh, or someone is pinging me but uh, for let's say for google news it shouldn't be all the time in the background if i don't need the update uh, the app in the background so I can limit this to I can put it in deep sleep so that's what you can check each and every uh, app permission how it is using the battery and you can check your you can apply your settings there and also the power saving mode so this power saving mode is really good and uh, power saving mode you can keep it on just to uh, uh, just to save some battery here so this power saving mode is on it will turn off the always on display it will uh, limit the cpu to 70 percent it will decrease the brightness by 10 percent all these things it will do this is going to save a lot of battery for you at least 10 to 12 percent per single charge so i use it regularly uh, so i keep it on all the time and one more thing is the background usage limit so you can put each and every app that you want it to not to use the background in the battery like this sleeping apps so i made all these apps in the sleeping uh, i have added all these apps in the sleeping app section because i don't want this app to run in the background and deep sleeping apps deep sleeping apps is that the the description is given like deep sleeping apps will never run in the background they will work only when you open this item so i don't want this many apps to uh, run in the background i want them to be updated only when i am uh, using them but the sleeping apps is the run in the background only occasionally updates and notification may be delayed but if you want any apps like if you want uh, any app to be updated in a uh, interval like you want the gmail to be updated in a regular frequency you can keep all those apps in the never sleeping apps like i have kept all this in the never sleeping apps this this is very important section background usage limit so i would suggest go to each of the app and add it add them in the respective section just before adding them just read the description here written and add them you can click on this one and it will show you all the thing like screen on time so mine is 2 hours and 15 minutes since i last charged my phone it is the screen on time is 2 hours and 15 minutes and screen off time is 4 hours and 5 minutes so you can check each and every app how it is taking the battery this is the most important things for the battery consumption and you can go to more battery settings here you can put like adaptive battery so here the uh, the phone will uh, apply some ai technique to to uh, to identify which apps are taking a lot of battery and which app needs to be in the sleep mode so you can keep this on and the processing speed here the processing speed we don't need uh, the maximum processing speed all the time unless we are gaming or we are doing cpu intensive work so we can keep it in the optimized mode or else you can put it in the high but for our general day-to-day -day task we don't do anything so the phone will need the high intensity mode so we can uh, keep it in the optimized then comes the apps here you can go to each and every app 
to uh, know what the permission it has like my calendar calendar has the notification i have allowed the notification one more thing uh, you can uh, restrict the notification for all the apps uh, you can stop the notification for the apps you don't need it like for calendar i need the notification so i need the phone to notify me when there is any task in due or when there is any upcoming task so i have kept the notification in the allowed mode and also you can check the permission like the calendar needs the permission for the contacts and calendar and but i have put this location and phone permission off for calendar so you can go to each and every app and you can check for that like for the camera camera is notification i have kept it allowed because camera is a native app i cannot make it uh, toggle off so that's what i need to be I need it to be opened otherwise i would have stopped the notification and the permission it uses is camera files location microphone and nearby devices so nearby devices is the bluetooth speaker or anything if you connect with your phone it will need this permission then general management general management you can uh, skip for now accessibility also you can skip it and the software update i would recommend all the time keep the software updated uh, to the latest version because that's it for now guys so do let me know if you have any questions or any suggestion on this video thank you